Hello and welcome to the show. I come with good news today, as you can probably see from the vehicle that I have before me. I've got car mods working on Street Legal Racing Redline, which is fantastic. Big thank you to uh, someone that commented on the last video. If you just type in on your keyboard, test me, and then click on the little screwdriver, the fine tune uh, button, you will get a it's a cheat code that will allow you to spawn in any vehicle. And that means that if you add modded vehicles to your game, you can spawn them in via that. You can't buy... A, I tell a lie, you might be able to buy them. Some people have been saying that they do appear from time to time in the used car lots because that's just a random selection of vehicles. You could be waiting a long time, though, to find the car you want. You can't buy chassis from the catalogue. I don't know if they ever appear at the new cars. I assume not, but because you can't buy chassis directly from the catalogue at the moment, the easiest and guaranteed way of being able to get modded cars into your game is to use, uh, type in test me on the keyboard, click on the spanner, or the spanner, the screwdriver, sorry, and you can select the chassis from that list, which means that I can build and mess around with a Lotus Carlton. Of course, as soon as I saw a Carlton, I knew I had to use it. Also, you might notice my garage has changed slightly. I, again, cheated with, uh, with the, I can't remember the code now exactly, I'll put it in the description so you can do it yourself. I cheated myself to the top of the rankings, primarily because I wanted to do some of the different races and didn't have time to play through the career modes to get myself to the, to the top, just so I've unlocked all of the different races to uh, compete in, so we can test cars in various different ways. Maybe take on the race of champions at some point as well. Anyway, we shall get started fixing up our car will repair the uh, repair the chassis. I love how it's only five thousand dollars to basically straighten out the entire front end of the car. I'm kind of tempted. I'll be honest. I don't know what I'm going to do with this engine. I kind of have it because I. It seems like a waste to sell such a good engine. I'm kind of tempted to stick the supercharged V8 that we took out of the last car, but. Equally, I'm not sure I quite want to do that to a Carlton. I do kind of want to go for a vaguely sensible-ish... I say sensible-ish engine in this. It's all oh dear. The car's escaped, guys! Guys, the car's escaping off of the ramp. There's a small issue there. Quick, if we go to the catalogue, maybe it'll reset itself back on. <laughs> Whoopsie. Right, engine, we're going to go for an inline six on here. We've got a couple of options. I'm not sure which is the best of the engines. I'm kind of guessing Motorsport GT2 engine kind of sounds is also the most expensive. Kind of sounds like a good way to go. So I'm thinking we're going to go with the GT2 engine. I don't think I've ever built an inline 6 on Street Legal. I've built a lot of engines but most of them have been V8s, V10s and various other. I've had a jet engine in a Prius, I believe, at one point. Most of the time, they've been absurd engines. Yeah, I really don't think I've ever built a car with an inline six. Uh, we're going to go with the GT2 parts, then, I think, on, on this car. Hopefully, I don't know if we can twin charge. I, I love that there is such, such versatility in the upgrading of the cars, and I love that it will let you go and do uh, quite crazy, crazy stuff with the uh, engines if you want to. Um, yeah, we got. To, I was just curious as to how come the 2.5 cylinder head was fitting on our engine, but apparently it will. Uh, we're going to want the GT2 engine cover. Okay, there's nothing else in there. Uh, camshafts, we're going to want these. Uh, GT2 intake and GT2 exhaust. Uh, if you are like building cars to a certain class, for example, you've got plenty of uh, options. Ooh, um, what well, motorsport? I'm sticking with these GT2 intake manifolds. There is a GT3 intake manifold from a slightly different car. I don't know. Mm, maybe we will have to go and play around. I'm gonna stick with just one mate because that's an easy way to get stuff confused. Um. Ooh, we can go for twin turbo exhaust header, straight GT exhaust, uh, GT exhaust header. Now, if we go for this, we won't be able to put turbos on it. So I'm thinking if we go for twin turbo exhaust header, obviously I'm, I'm hoping at least there's plenty of interchangeable parts going on here. Otherwise, we're going to have to come back. Uh, GT2 fuel rail and then performance systems. I'm not a massive fan of sticking NOS on my cars, to be honest. I've tended to avoid... Uh, touching them. 
Okay. Um, primary. Okay, we're, we're probably going to. Oh, can we? Uh, six channel methanol injector fuel rail. I might try putting this on and seeing how that works. Okay, we do want these turbos. So we want primary and secondary turbos. Yes. Primary turbo long air inlet. Twin turbo charged air charge. And then secondary. Okay, that should be good. Um. I'm going to buy all of these, because we're probably going to need all of these, and we'll get that as well. While we're here, as I said, having not built this engine before, I don't quite know. Ooh, we get options. Quite a lot of options in terms of gearboxes. Uh, Six-speed street manual transmission sounds good to me. I'm hoping this car will be rear-wheel drive. It's, um... Ooh, what do we go for? I don't know, we'll stick with... Oh, wait, I don't actually... Uh, GT2 six-speed race automatic. I don't know, I'd expect that... Ah. There's the brace manual. I've gone for the crappy gear. We'll go for a better gearbox because screw it. Uh, clutch and flywheel. We want that. And then we've already got one clutch for these engines. Miscellaneous. We will find uh, various bits and pieces that we're going to need. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, alternator drive belt. We're going to need one of them. I'm guessing we're going to need the Emma alternator. We shall see. Uh, oil pan. And then are we going to have... There they are. <laughs> Don't, don't, oh, no, hold on. That's a different one. Uh, crankshaft. That's the... Wait, there's only one set of crankshaft. Hopefully it'll be interchangeable and we'll go for a good battery as well. I don't know if having like, the crappier battery gives the car issues. No, no idea on that one. Let's hope all of this fits in nicely on here. Uh, oh, we've not got... Uh, we're not happy with pistons? Uh, or have we got pistons of sort? Ah. Uh, okay, we uh, might have bought two sets of pistons. GT2 pistons. Okay, we did buy two sets of pistons. Good, I'm not going mad. Get the camshafts in. Uh, right. Okay, so the exhaust, the turbo exhaust has fitted. So can We can't put the methanol fuel rail on. Now, I don't know if we have to put other bits and pieces in first. Um, let's just go with sticking on this bit. Ah, oh, that was a three-port. Okay, that's for a different engine. Okay, never mind. I was buying stuff just in case. Race manual transmission. I love how we have to put the gearbox on first before we put in the flywheel and the clutch. Let's put on some belts. Uh, now, can we... Uh, apparently, we can't put on any fuel rail. Little bit concerning. Uh, we'll put on these. That can... Uh, oh, we didn't take out the battery. Somehow, the battery goes in the headlight area sure um i would have thought we'd have to have a fuel rail of some sort let's just give it a quick check yeah so class e because the engine is not working uh because the static compression is too high on the engine not more than that is a lap try just in the air fuel okay um <laughs> I'm slight. I'm, it's nice that we can adjust all of these bits and pieces. Ah, we can actually adjust the turbos on this engine, which is cool. However, I'm slightly confused as to why we don't have... I mean, we don't have anything in the way of... Ah, intake manifold. Sorry, I thought I bought a second exhaust one. That would be my bad. Okay, that might explain why we can't do it. I can say we're missing a manifold, and my brain was having issues figuring it out. Right, that's sorted. That's apparently just methanol. My car is wobbling again. No. Bad Carlton. Please don't fall off. I don't know what the game's going to do. Probably crash if the Carlton falls off of the ramp. Sorry to people shouting at me to put the uh, <laughs> intake manifold on. My bad on that one. Now we are a class A car. We've got 858 horsepower. So this is quite a significantly more powerful car. Like, like we're talking double horsepower going on. <gasps> turbos. Turbos. All of the turbos. Uh, that was just one of the turbo. Where's the other one? Primary, primary one. Where's our secondary turbo gone? I love how we've got the turbo pipes are going through the wheel arch a little bit here. Uh, how? Where? Okay, primary. Wait, secondary turbocharger. Oh, in there. Yes, more turbo on here, and now we will be undefined. That's helpful. Nine hundred and thirty-seven. Cool. I may. I don't know what's going on with the graph here. The graph is having issues. I may actually just turn that back a little bit. Reason being, I want this as an A-class car. 
so that we can go do some races. And it's nice having these options, you know, to fine tune your, your turbo pressure to get the car into various classes. 856 horsepower, keeping the car in A class. Pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty happy with that. And of course, we've got, I forgot we need to check the pedals and so on, but it let me install the gearbox. So I'm assuming that they are all good in there. Yes, we have got the pedals sorted. Okay. The rest of these bits and pieces we don't need. I bought extras of some stuff, and yeah, actually, what we might try here. Okay, so that was the methanol injector. So if we try the normal one, normal GT2 injector, uh, we can't change the oh, cars bouncy, bouncy, bouncy going on at the moment. Okay, so that's 701 horsepower. So we are much better off with the uh, wait. Get the fuel rail. Don't get the open. Okay, no car. Please stay still. Fuel rail. <laughs> really difficult to work on your car when... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Bad car. If I click on something... I did, you did get reset a couple of times when I was doing this. Bloody hell. We're gonna, the car is going to fall down the pit. I have fair experience with cars falling down the bloody pit in, <laughs> in this. More when you go to lift them up in the older versions where you'd lift the car up and then it would fall in the pit. That was always um, a thing. Or you'd be driving it around in the garage, and then you'd fall in the pit yourself. Done that. Um, catalog time, because we need to do some of the bodywork. Do we have any aftermarket body parts for the Carlton? No, we do not. I guess it was uh, always going to be worth a look. Right, we needed... I think the back of the car was actually relatively good on here. Uh, we have, uh, we've got sort of side skirts, and, ooh, okay, we've got, wow, we've got lots of it, <gasps> I spy racing bumpers, I like it, ooh, wow, we've got real good choice on this one, we've got an Evo, Evo 500, from, I think that's DT, is that DTM, Open Omega Evo 500, would that be, um, I don't know, they did have to do homologation stuff for DTM cars. We go for a full-on time attack front splitter right there. Uh, Evo 500. Yeah, let's go Let's go for full Evo 500 and racing stuff. Racing hood. Uh, Evo 500 door. Debadge, front left quarter panel. Do we want to go Evo 500? Right quarter panel and side skirt. Yes, I do. Uh, left quarter panel and side skirts. Passenger door. Uh, we want... Uh, left, and we want headlights, I think we lost both of them. We want uh, rear, okay, we want rear doors as well. I'm guessing these being lighter as well will do us good in terms of speed. Let's go back and see what else we might need for the vehicle. It's going to have to be resprayed. The red that it came in is hideous. Uh, <laughs> we've got going on, I will be honest. Um, front left quarter panel. Uh, maybe these aren't... I don't know why they wouldn't work. I'll be honest. Uh, or maybe we have to put them on first before we put the doors on. Let's give that a try. Um, although if it was, it should have probably gone on the other side. Let's try that. Uh, okay, let's get everything else off and then try these. Okay, apparently they don't work. A little bit of a shame. We'll have to come back and get them. Uh, oh, rear bumper won't work because I've not taken the other rear bumper off. Uh, so we have a... Oh, I put the wrong front bumper? No, I haven't put the front bumper on yet. Don't worry, I'm not going mad. Oh! Um, no, that's bad. That's not in the right... That's not where the bumper goes. <laughs> Arse. Okay, so that doesn't quite work. They don't quite work, and they're just the spare doors that we have lying around. So we're going to have to buy the... Uh, quarter panels and side skirts separately, I guess, if we want them. Well, it's worth a try. And let's face it, a lot of these mods were made for different versions of the game to this one. So, yeah, perhaps things don't quite work in the same way as they as they used to. Okay, custom side skirt. Le oh, wait, hold on. Left side skirt. Uh, do we have a right side skirt anywhere? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. We want front left and front right quarter panels. And then we want... Apparently there's two custom left side skirts. But there isn't a right. Maybe one of these is just wonkily named. Let's go and find out <laughs> when we stick stuff on our car. Um, 
Oh, we have to change our bumper as well, that way. They can be our side skirts. Uh, yeah, okay, so they were. It was just a, a misnamed one, and we didn't get the right. Did I not buy the right? Hold on, just check. I swear I did buy the right quarter panel, but apparently not. They had the doors. That's the dodgy bumper. Okay, we did get the, sorry, the left quarter panel. Right, that's there. We need a rear bumper of sorts. We can't have the racing bumper, unfortunately. We will then have to do with the uh, replacement rear bumper. Yeah, let's give that a try. See what that one looks like on here. Replacement rear bumper. Don't think it makes any difference to the normal one. Okay, we can't quite have crazy, crazy... Um, sort of time attack body kit going on. Car, you're getting precariously close now to falling in the pit. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Bloody car. Um, right. We need an almighty wing. Uh, do we need an almighty wing? Do I want to do that to a Carlton? Uh, I quite like the standard Carlton wing, to be honest with you. We do need some wheels and some tyres. I think we're going to keep the running gear as it is. Let's face it, it's going to come with some pretty decent... Some pretty decent stuff in here. We are going to... I think I'm going to stick with the medium compound tyres on this. Let's try and get the same bloody wheels as well. Uh, otherwise it's going to look really odd. Uh, Devil Sport 5, 8, 7, 8 by 17. Let's try and, uh, try and manage to do that one. Uh, stock rims, perhaps? Uh, Devil something. Devil Sport 5, 8 by 17. It was 8 by 17... Plus zero, though. Uh, okay, so not that way then. Uh, okay, so they, do they sort them by... by uh, well, eight by, there we go, that's the one we want. We want two of them. We can stick on the car and then I'll just check the tyres that, uh, that we want. Fingers crossed. That will, okay, that'll do the trick. And then 205 by 55 are 17. Hopefully we'll have enough grip. I mean, after last time, when we had 40-odd thousand horsepower going through the car, and we were fine with being drivable, so, you know, I'm, I'm thinking these should manage. What, what we are asking it to do isn't too ridiculous, quite frankly. It's 205, uh, I think it was that one. I'm hoping so, anyway. Let's go and buy that. And then, or was it 255? And it was 205.55, which is them. Okay, tyres on the car, good. The engine, I mean, the turbos are, the turbo pipes are a little bit low. I would be worried about them banging on the floor if we happen to go across any bumps whatsoever. Oh, we need seats. <laughs> we need some seats going on in this, uh, in this car. And there is a fair bit of interior customization you can do. Dashboard is probably not going to be on this car, but you can get them for some vehicles. Steering wheels, there is much in the way of options. Various standard ones, of course. Now I've got Lotus Carlton. <gasps> Lotus Carlton Racing Steering Wheel. I want that, but I don't know whether it's going to... A... Well, it's not got a picture, so let's hope it appears in the actual um, actual car. Okay, I haven't got any custom uh, gear knobs. Seats. Do we have any... Um sort of black and orange racing seats that would be cool uh most of these don't fit Ooh, we can get a roll cage yes that's probably going knowing my previous driving experience shall we say roll cage probably a good idea uh racing seats we do have some that will fit in the car uh do we have uh eh, i'll take that one actually that's close enough do have to be careful sometimes these don't quite fit in neatly as we may see um yeah i guess that's, that's relatively okay a little bit high i think yeah it's actually just notice it's hovering off the floor and i can't adjust I mean, there is ways to adjust it but you've got to go in the slr editor and faff about a lot to get it all working so we will stick with the standard seat i think there were a couple of options in terms uh, Carlton Custom Passenger Seat, Carlton Passenger Seat, Custom Driver Seat, sure. Um, we, will go with, we will go with that, and then that shouldn't be floating around in the sky. Yeah, much better. In there, we've got a full-on roll cage going on. Uh, we can close the doors. Our car is, I'm thinking, looking pretty ready here. To the paint shop. That'll sort it out. Now... Am I going to be able to get... I've got, 
a stacks of bloody paint left over from the last car we did. Am I going to be able to get the Lotus Carlton green? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know is the answer. It's sort of... Uh, it's kind of a very, very darkish green. I'm thinking maybe sort of that green-ish. It's not probably going to be perfect. That's a little bit too black, I think. So, yes, it's not going to be perfect. Was it like Imperial? Was it like Imperial green or some, something like that? Um, we're probably going to want to get... It's a lot of car to paint. We're going to go for eight, just to be on the safe side. Uh, right. That's not, that's not green. <laughs> Some reason I thought it would have been selected. That's not far off, actually. I'm I'm relatively happy with that, actually. That, that that's quite a Lotus Carlton colour. I think we might have gone a little bit overkill with the uh, amount of paint needed here. I'll be honest. Well, we've got lots of uh, Carlton paint. We're going to make such a patchwork car at some point where I'm going to have to. We're going to be trying to save money, and I just happen to have all of this stuff made or. I'm lazy. We're going to have such a patchwork car of greens and reds and who knows what other colours we might end up buying. Okay. Carlton, I think, is good to go. I think we're ready to head out with this vehicle. We will head back to the shop. Shall we go tackle some races? Let's have a look. This is an A-class car. We can tackle some A-class events. We could go derby. I'm not derbying. I'm not derbying a Lotus Carlton. Um, yeah, let's go and jump up into these hopefully um once we can eventually get out of the what race was that uh, engine power ah, 500 horsepower maximum here we get a prime dlh engine kit if we were one that one got far too much power Ooh, okay so we could go doing some oval racing clean okay requires clean driving uh we i oh, don't have the right make for that or we could pro Hennessy sick. Oh wow, there's there's options. Ah, Norris Ring. I remember this track. Shall we go take on A class? Uh, that's actually that's a time trial, time attack. Sure, two twenty one, one nine. Let's go and compete here. It is daytime for the race. We have got our Lotus Carlton. Should be pretty. Uh, pretty pretty well sorted don't have it in reverse that would not be uh, that would not be <laughs> a good way to start the race uh, after all Carlton did run in DTM this circuit used in DTM just had to turn my computer down street legal is one of the loudest bloody games I'm on the road oh Christ we're not stopping for turn one. Oh, car down car, car down I think we might have lost an engine in that one I think we actually did lose the entire engine well that's um <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. My car has completely died. Right, one quick rebuild later, and we are <laughs> ready to try again. Brakes. Brakes going to be quite, uh, quite, oh, I've done exactly the same. It's because I've been driving a set of Corsa where gear up is A. It, it's, uh, <laughs> Completely untrained me for every other game that uh, that I am playing. Let's go on these brakes, nice and early, down towards the first corner. I think just in general, all of the vehicles have been catching me out with their less than powerful brake. Basically, the cars are so ridiculously fast. At least the cars that I build are so ridiculously fast that the brakes just don't quite uh, don't quite keep up with it. And this does come with some pretty decent ones to start with. I'm taking it mega gentle on this first lap. We've got to beat 221, which honestly I'm not sure is going to be that challenging around this circuit. This circuit is a very, very quick track, so we should be able to do that. Also, I've lost one engine. I'd rather not lose a second in my car. Uh, we will get it around this final head, but I'm miles out wide, but uh, this is going to be a walk in the park, really. We're going to finish with like a minute to spare. I wonder if this was not really designed for A-class cars, because that is far, far <laughs> too straightforward a uh, lap. We could probably almost do two if I, if my car If I had more confidence in my car slash brakes of my car, I could probably do two laps. Well, we've got a very quick A-Class vehicle here. We're going to just bur 
burn the tyres, big slow. It would be very, very good for sliding around this car if it wasn't for the fact that I was constantly scared about smacking it into a wall. Certainly, the um, when you do stick the difficult, I think it's the difficulty slider or the damage slider, whichever one it is, um, you stick that up to maximum and crashes are painful. Crashes are really painful uh, on here. Oh, we're on the brakes once more, braking mega, mega early and carrying nothing in the way of quarter speed. Even then, we're not going to make that, so a quick grab on the handbrake. We'll fix it. Oh, wrong way through the gears. There goes the... That, that should have kill, <laughs> killed the engine there. How fast dare I go down this start-finish line? Gear ratios could probably do with extending a bit. We're getting, we're getting pretty close to the uh, 200 mile an hour mark there before jumping on the brakes. About 320, 340-ish kilometers an hour is uh, what we're looking at for, for 200 miles an hour. So we were not that far off whatsoever. We get it out of... The, the hairpins at this track are really nasty. I remember Toka Race Driver played a lot of that uh, I remember liking this, this circuit on. It's a cool track. Quite a simple one. Overtaking is... Uh, interesting around here because you've got such big hairpins to be dealing with but such quick lap times as well come on Carlton we can fire you down this penultimate straight and then get on the brakes nice and early to make sure make sure that we slow down for some reason when I change gear it seems to that's not going to do it now when I'm on the brakes and I change gear it like flashes the, <laughs> the brake light for whatever reason we're going to get some big slides as we head towards the finish line. 200 miles an hour? Not quite. Not quite. Oh, crap. I forgot game doesn't take control of the car. Spin it and keep it out of the barriers. That'll do. That will do. We're safe. Um, oh, it was the race time. I thought that was lap time. Okay, that is tough. That's actually very tough to do. That. Well, I say it's very tough. I need a lot more in the way of handling. Okay, my bad on that one. Completely didn't realise what it was uh, was going for. We need more, much more in the way of handling to compete in in that. Uh, and I need to be a lot, a lot braver. Okay, that makes sense. I apologise for my lack of knowledge. Shall we go do an oval race? Sounds like fun to me. Or not. Or we shall not go and do an oval race. Disappointing game. Disappointing. Okay, so the oval race doesn't want to work for <laughs> whatever reason. Um, we are. I'm going to see if there's anything else that I can go and find to to do down here. Okay, shall we have a go at drag race? Rear wheel drive, A class. Yeah, let, let's give it a try. I don't know. Oh, apparently, we're not going to. Uh, the game is not particularly happy with me at the moment. Well. Street Legal is being, well, Street Legal and crashing constantly. So I think we're going to give up trying to do the <laughs> races. I cheated myself to sort of the end game level and now I can't compete in anything because they're all crashing on me. I don't know whether it's the modded car or something I've done somewhere that's upset it all. I'm going to try. We're going to go to the city. It is night time, which hopefully will mean the city will load. I don't know. We'll do some of the drag races around the place. Ah! The city does load! Fantastic! In fact, it's literally put us out right by a drag race. I was hoping to do more circuit stuff and so on, but uh, apparently that is not to be. However, might as well. This looks like a dangerous drag race. This looks like a really bloody dangerous drag race, but I will come and join in. Oh, no, I've gone too far. Go back it up, back it up. Hello! I would like to participate, please. Uh, we're going to be racing again. Uh, God knows what that is. PFAA Whisper. Yeah, let's go see what that is. Um, because having got myself a lot further into the car, we're racing like a Viper. <laughs> Don't have the car in reverse. Okay, so we're against a Viper with our 900-ish horsepower Lotus Carlton. Come on, Carlton. You can do this. Oh, we've got the Viper. We've got the Viper off the line. I don't know whether it's going to start coming back at me. No, it is not. We are going to pull away, but I'm going to go on the brakes because I don't want to go soaring through the finish line. But actually, we can bail to the left here. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me wherever you are. I was expecting more of a fight from the Viper. I'll be honest. The Viper's actually piddly slow. Wondering if the Viper was having issues with the course, like the corners. I don't know why it would. 
Viper, that was disappoint or whisper, whatever you want to call it. It was disappointingly, disappointingly slow there. We're going to uh, spin the car around. We're careful, uh, going abusing the engine too much. We're already well. I say we're blowing up one. It fell out. <laughs> it fell out of the car in one, and uh, yeah, I know if you do rev the car crazily, you can cause excess engine damage. Uh, I don't really want to be here because I know there are cars racing down this way. There we go. You can go whizzing past. You were going quicker than what should be a top tier supercar was. So, hello, I'm not stopping. We're not stopping at all. Okay, brakes might need an upgrade, I think. I think they could really do with an upgrade, to be honest. I might actually have to focus and build, rather than building these stupid monsters, I might have to try and focus and build on a car that can get around a corner. Uh, there are no opponents to race against. Well, that's rubbish. What about these guys? I'm joining in. We're joining in the race uh, against these what look like fairly... Oh, no, they're going for it, actually. I'm putting my foot down and... Oh, wow, they're really going for it. Okay, they slow for the corner. That's where I got the Viper. I win. Can I get some bonus money? <laughs> I started a long way back. No? No bonus money? Disappointing. Um... I guess that's me for done with nighttime drag races? I thought you'd be able to sort of go back and re-race people, apparently not. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, the game is being unreliable. I don't know whether it's to do with this car. It could well be, bloody hell. Hello. Forgot about you guys coming. Oh, that was a big jump. I'm probably not going to stop. Uh, don't know whether it's this car that's causing issues. It could be. i will have to have a play around and see what I can figure out. But, uh... That is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As ever, I'll put links to the mods that I've used in the description, so you can download them, have a go with them yourself. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.